Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So I welcome you all to yet another tutorial on Programming Knowledge. In today's tutorial, we are going to continue with MongoDB. Uh, oh, last tutorial, we, I, I had shown you how we can connect Django with MongoDB. But now we are trying to implement CRUD operations. The basically, there are four CRUD operations that is create, read, update and delete. And we are going to implement this using MongoDB. So first thing you can do is you can open this MongoDB Compass Community Edition and you can click on connect. When you click on connect, you can last in the last video, I showed you how we created a demo database here. Then you can open the demo database and here you can see all the migrations. The demo database has all the migrations we had done. So you can refer to the previous tutorial how we connected MongoDB to Django. It's very simple and it's very uh, quick enough. So I can also give you a quick view. Uh, in settings.py file, you need to uh, go into setting.py file and what you need to do here you need to make, uh, make sure that this database engine is Django and uh, uh, you have to install a demo uh, you have to make a demo database uh, and the name of that database is very much the same demo database and you have to install a package called Django so it can be easy, easily installed by the uh, by uh, typing the command pip install Django uh, for a uh, what uh, for any like if you want to see it as a demo purpose you can refer to the previous video uh, now what we are going to implement the CRUD operations. So we will go step by step and we will see how we can uh, create a app and then how we can implement the uh, how we can implement the uh, uh, CRUD operations in that app. So what you can do you can simply copy this or you can type on your VS code python manage dot py start app demo app. So this would uh, uh, start a demo app uh, inside your current project directory and now what you can do uh, in set, uh, uh, till the time it's being created creating a demo app I can show you further commands uh, this is the one like uh, uh, I'll show you uh, we are going to implement a database model so this is how we uh, make a database model we will make then we will create a super user and this is a uh, administration I will show you that and uh, I'll simply show you. So, uh, okay. So let's uh, get back to our tutorial. See, the demo app has been created. You can see the folder here, demo app, and it has a file called models.py file. Since I've created a, an app, demo app, I need to make sure add add this application here, demo app. Okay. Now, what you need to do? I've already connected to my database, and the next thing I'm going to do, I'll move to models.py file, and I need to create a model here. So simply I'll create a model and I'll make create a basic model. See this one. Uh, I'll copy this and paste it here. Uh, instead of this, I'll do class to do. Uh, and this is the this is instead of first name, I'll type task. And instead of the second uh, last name, I'll do this to description. Description. So this is a description I'm going to have task is your models dot field and this is the description here I can increase the description to 100 perfect uh, yeah perfect now I have increased the description to 100 and now what we can do uh, inside my admin dot py file I can register this and for that I know to what I need to do I need to uh, first import models from dot models import everything so I from dot models import star and here you can see that I have registered, I can register a model here. So I, I can copy this and paste it here. Uh, uh, yeah. So here you can see, uh, I can uh, import that model and register it here as an admin. So I can implement the CRUD operation. So I will simply type to do. So to do is the model which I have to register. And I will create a super user at the same time, python manage dot py create super user so this is the type of command I have to type to create the super user so it will ask me to like a uh, uh, username so here you can uh, give a username as admin you can leave this email address password you have to be give a very simple one uh, and then again you can give a password the make sure it's an easy one just for the demo purpose and uh, you can continue that and now so this password it seems to be too common but you type y that is yes and it will create the super user now 
since I created the model database model and I also registered that so now what I will do I will migrate this database Python manage sorry Python manage dot py make migrations and now what I'll do so here you can see it shows that create model to do now I'll migrate this Python manage dot py sorry Python manage dot py uh, migrate now I will migrate this database so yeah here you can see so uh, I have uh, made this and now what I am going to do I'll go to my demo database and I'll refresh this okay so here you can see that I have got a demo app to do here here you can see demo app to do now uh, what I'll do I'll run this app python manage.py manage.py run server okay now the app will start at uh, start at the local host so i'll move to my local host so like we have created the model perfect we have registered it as admin perfect and now uh, okay this seems to be something else sorry uh, yeah now uh, i have created an app uh, which i told you that and then we registered the app inside the installed apps directory as well so we are going in the right direction now i'm at my local host i'll refresh this and you can see that i have the, my app successfully running now i will go to the admin slash admin so simply we refer to the documentation for the quick illustration of this and the you need to uh, type in the username and password you had set and what you need to do then you can log in here and here you can see I have to do's so you can add a to do here simply we are going to implement the CRUD operation so uh, to do number one so uh, hello world I'll type simply type hello world anything you can give hello world now I'll save this uh, let me I'll either I'll do save and add another or I can save this yeah so this has been saved and here you can see the object says yeah this is i have the object okay so i i'm clicking on save again yeah but now when i move to my database i click on this demo app to do and here you can see that you have this data in the json format so perfectly fine so here you can see that i have the data in the json format uh since it, it's mongodb okay uh i'll quickly show you yeah you can see this in the uh, uh, json format so and this is the uh, you can also click on this button so this would show you in the tabular form and this will show you in the json form so perfectly fine so let's implement some few operations on that again now i click the to do app project and i get to do number one edited so i click save so this has been edited so when i move to my database i'll click on refresh i'll click here refresh button yeah now it says to do number one edited now simply i can add another view so to do number two number two and i'll give the same description yeah and then i can move to my database refresh i'll get another one and now i can delete one so that's makes the last uh, purpose of our project i'll delete this yes i'm sure i'll delete this and i when i move to my database i found it deleted so that's perfectly found how we implement the credit operations. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for joining us in this tutorial. So this was the quick purpose. You can simply create a to-do app and with the database. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video.